Bewilder unto death. Such conflicts of curiosity often are cause of an unshakable, unbreakable bewilderment. So few wonder if this be that which foments fear used to corral the flocks. Rocks of reality are sharp. Sheep avoid deftly for a time such hard knocks by acquiescence to a new world ordered by those who may consider matricide a means to a glorified end. Woe, Ghazal! Water leaks through fingers, as does sand in an arid land. Blood puddles in low spots on an uneven tiled floor. Life born in liquid returns to fluid and evaporates. Steam rising from a swamp where an early soup simmered. Origins of multitudes in attitudes of diversity. Cities of light emerge from darkness to rise and fall. Footprints in blood-sodden sands lead to places of a sudden sunburst through amethyst clouds, shrouds for a purple purpose that translates to blue upon a barren beachhead where, at low tide, armies of crustaceans storm ashore in clicking waves of periscope eyes, kinetic mandibles, and mass movements. Bound and buried to the chin, the pariah awaits a fate far worse than breath of beasts bad-mouthing his mother of all rivers. The Bus I am riding in a bus chained to my seat, as is the rider to my left, the two in front and behind. All through the bus are passengers chained to their seats. I am one of the lucky ones, for I have a seat by the window. Alas. There are bars on the window. There are bars on all the windows. We get a little cool air through the bars as the bus rolls along at excessive speed. The driver is virtually blind, bereft of the faculty of creative thought, bereft of sensitivity, robot-like, driving through thick smoke and haze in an industrial daze for days on end. The driver mindlessly driving the bus and us toward an unscheduled and unprepared for rendezvous with the unknown end of the road. The road we all travel upon. The road that began on a level plain and gradually inclined, now desperately declining as the speed increases. The bus hurtling now, down, down, bouncing here and there while the air thickens and our pulse quickens as we sense unseen catastrophic conclusion of this surrealistic illusion midst cacophony and confusion of maniacal madmen all about us everywhere. Maniacal madmen everywhere doing their utmost to destroy the bus and us and everyone as we thunder along with no brakes, making all the mistakes of the doomed, the damned, scammed by a society of fools whose high-tech tools do not build but demolish our forests, our mountains, our air, our water, whose high-tech tools slaughter the diverse creatures that are the source of our primal pride and joy. And the oblivion-bound bus carries us carelessly, crazily, down the ever-steepening slope, dashing all hope as we grope for what sense of security our manacled hands and feet can find in the tumult and tumble as we fumble, rumbling now, down, down, the ever-deepening dark road to nowhere in the realm of light, and our plight escalates to cold fear as we near the ominous end of the line where the bus and us will certainly stop. Crescendos of calamity, drums of pending death, sending signals in slow percussion like smoke from a blanket lifted at intervals. Deeper sounds resonate in skies of the minds of a multitude rejecting a raw reality. A great gathering of spirits attuned to a firelight rage at the approach of a soaring storm of savage darkness. 
children of chaos, observe the demonic dance of elders who lead the lemmings of life to the precipice of an abysmal, forever fatal descent. Au revoir.